Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Only, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Blaze. Now, I'm going to be taking a look at Patch Notes uh, September uh, 5th, and which is going to be tonight. So, we're going to look at it together and see what's all there. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Alright, so first things first, it seems like the new modes are actually coming. So, I can't wait to do like a video on those. Especially for um, Chapter 4. Or season four, whichever one you want to call it. Um, they're also bringing in modes for the um, Limit Stone, pretty much uh, raid, which I am very afraid of, just because that it already got buffed, and I feel like I don't want to go through a, a buffed version of that because his HP is like way longer, which gives him one more time to stack up damage, which is going to be quite the challenge. I'm pretty sure in the legend version that you'll probably be able to um, to get a better chance of getting like double S's or triple S's. I'm pretty sure that's the bonus of doing that. Plus level cap gets increased to 117, which I'm really hoping the gear drops with that. Or, you know, it'll be, it'll be fine, whichever way. We also, let's see, new product. Okay, we're getting like new rings that give gold and XP. So if you guys are low on gold, I'm pretty sure gold won't be nice for you. If you guys are starting players, I'm pretty sure that'll be good to aim for. Or even if you're not a starting player, if you want to level up a little bit faster, like each time the level cap gets increased, you guys can do that. Or you guys can just night farm. Pretty much like I do. <laughs> All right, so they're pretty much giving you the instructions of where to go. You go to fight, then coin shop, then you go to items and there they are right there actually this one's actually pretty good for a gold increase and actually it has pretty decent hp and attack speed it actually sounds pretty nice to have i'll probably just get at least one of them i mean it is a hundred after all pretty sure that's all of the updates coming wow i was expecting a little bit more like a few more like features but that's all right so far, it seems like they're getting ready for some stuff. But the only thing I'm actually looking forward to is the rewards from this. I'm hoping the rewards for like um, season four is going to be like really good. Hopefully, I get some more rubies stacked on to the rubies I already already have right now. But you know, I'm just I'm just stacking up just in case you know I need a little bit of extra you know. But yeah, just a little bit of like small things coming to the game. But the only thing that I'm looking for is when Hellhawk and Trigger come out, then I'll be one like like step further to Margaret and Howl. And the progress that's going on with that is I will show you guys whenever the game decides to let me go. Okay. I got this to Ultimate and I now I'm working on Omega. I might get in good shape right now. I'm pretty sure I got some stuff to put in him. Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'll probably won't have that much about the end of this video. But he's at plus six now. Then I got to sell on Helios afterwards, just because I do want a, like a better key for my paladin, and I can get some better stuff that way after I finish like these like i said i probably won't have that much but i'll be like extremely close so let's go ahead and start on the boss because that's normally what we do first all the always all right so let's go ahead and take hmm? i don't want her at all Alright, I would keep her, but this is way better. Actually, let's take Omega in instead of Bly. Yeah, no, don't do that. Alright, guys, so let's see how we do. Alright, we're getting some pretty good score. Right off the bat. Oh, yeah. There's one thing that's 
a couple of people have asked me after uh, one of my guild members had asked me is if I would make like beginner guides for the game. I'm pretty sure there's already beginner guides out there, but I don't have any problem with making them. It's just that it's gonna take quite a while to actually get them out, so... All I would ask for is, like, patience, because I guess through the whole week I can do that. I'm guessing I can do that, like... I don't really know, but... I'll try and get some beginner guides out there just to give you guys like a little bit of knowledge that I have earned past over the pretty much over the past year that I've played the game and pretty much the like eight months that I came back to the game. The knowledge I know now, I'll pretty much give you guys like sort of like a little bit of something that will help you guys out with playing the game and especially coming into game. But let me know what you guys think of that. Like, it's fine with me. It's just that it's going to take time. Oh my god. Can I actually beat the score? Looks like I might. Thing is, if I would have got Omega to max, or at least ultimate, and Helios to at least max, or ultimate, I will probably live like way longer and have like way more damage. But so far, with this combination, we're actually going pretty good. For sure, like always, Llewellyn is doing the most damage. Uh, there's another thing that's been going on with YouTube. For some reason, on YouTube, I barely ever get notifications from, like, any of my videos. It's pretty much, if somebody says something or asks a question, I will never get it. So I have to go to dashboard and see that question, but half of the time there are questions that don't even pop up in my notifications or the dashboard comments. So I apologize if I missed like any question from like any other videos or any other videos I have not even thought about. I do apologize if I have not seen those comments because they don't pop up. YouTube is like definitely broken, they need to fix themselves. Just because it does not help me out at all. I've also been thinking about making a video of like everything that's been messing up for me on YouTube as well. Because a lot of things are not working on this site. Oh my god. We are racking up score. So this seems actually pretty decent. When I get them to ultimate, it's probably going to be like way better. Probably. At least I'm hoping so. But hopefully with the update coming tomorrow, well tomorrow morning, everything's going to be like way more interesting, especially with uh, the remotes coming out. I actually have a reason to do adventure for my videos. <laughs> so pretty much what they're doing is getting us ready for um, chapter 5. Which is not extremely far behind. It's probably going to be at least next year. But next year isn't like all that far away as people are thinking. It's actually still pretty close. And ooh, next year's games are going to be like really fun. I cannot wait. Ah, uh, poor Landy's down. I think Fa I think Falcon would join her like real soon. Oh god, along with Helios. Oh god, this guy has a lot of strength buffs. Never mind. Everybody's going to be joining real soon. Or at least they're trying to get a little bit more damage in. Can they survive the uh, to at least six minutes? No. Just five seconds off. But we did beat a score. See, we're making a lot more progress. We're a team. Yep, like always, Llewellyn is the highest damage on my team. <laughs> Llewellyn is just such a monster inside of uh, World Bosses. 
especially your really good DPS. Uh, where am I going to do now? Uh, I think it was normal PvP that was next. That's nice. Hold on. Yeah, it's normal PvP. So, let's go for a uh, hero first. Yeah, let's fight this this team. We're still waiting on the Tanupian trans. Just saying. I knew she was gonna turn us to frogs. She must have hit somebody with invisibility, because that deep punch just took somebody out. Oh god, she turned to be an on me. Please god no. I didn't even need my other skills, bro. All I needed was one skill to take you out. Alright, time to head on to Buster. Yeah, get this over with. They will pretty much have all of our like rubies for today. I'm still thinking about getting her. Just because her uh, max like ability is like really strong. Especially strong for our ROB. So I'm looking forward to actually starting on her like a little bit down in the like future. All I need is Pluto. Which I'll probably make like later. Alright, let's grab that. Okay, that is not what I wanted to click. Yep, we pretty much got everything. See, so many rubies. We are hogging all of them. I think I would be like, probably like six off. Yeah, I'm six off from actually being a, able to put another like upgrade into Omega. Now what? I can start on uh, Stigma like later. I don't know if I want Transit Graceful though. That's the thing. If there's going to be any rogues, I would wait until the, um, Awaken Trance. But, yeah. Ah, <sighs> progress. That's all I can think for. It's just progress. Let's go ahead and do the picks. We're going to do them so hard. Jesus. Alright, so we're kind of mowing through them here. They're already like halfway through them. Like I was just about to start talking since she like finished the first one. Till Llewellyn like killed the first wave out of nowhere. Now she already killed the second. I wish Pigs were still a lot stronger because that gave me extra go. Okay, the pig didn't even get to come out and you guys already killed it. You guys are causing quite a bit of lag here. Can you guys chill out? I wonder how the guild's doing. Oh, well. That conversation ended, like, really quick. Duh, so many things I gotta do. But how are you guys' team coming along? Uh, what characters are you guys looking for in the trans when they come out? I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to the um, Awakened trans. No... Why the bitty guys are going after those? Which I'm looking forward to as well, because a lot of strong ones are in there. 
I wouldn't say a lot of them are strong, but you know, most of them are strong. Which kind of puts me off on Trans Bell, even though I can get her, but at the same time, I don't feel like she's something I need for the team. Especially when I will have Margaret real soon. Now, I've been thinking about making Tracy, but I, well, actually, I've been having the urge to make her. But I've been fighting it off. I'm not going to make her until like I'm actually done with all these keys. And then I've got the night farm whenever this update drops so I can be max level again. And as for events, I did not look at those. I have plenty of tickets. Let's just go ahead and get, get these. I mean, not all that bad. Thank you. And last batch. Hope you guys got a lot of uh, good stuff from this. If anything, it's always great to go for um, raid tickets. Because in the future, when there's not like, like anything to level up, or to grind for, it'll probably be best to save up a lot of raid tickets just to, just to pretty much get a lot of gear so you can like re-roll the gear stats by like combining or stuff like that. You know, just, just simple stuff. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have too many of like any resource to be honest. I just need a lot of like allies at the moment because I've, I've used a lot of Go ahead and throw all these in here. I always throw them inside of my storage because I don't want them to like, fill up my backpack. And plus, they're way easier to merge here as well. Is it full yet? I guess it's not full. It was near. But yeah, I can't wait for the update just because I, I want to see how my team matches up to like the higher modes and everything. Considering that... Uh, World of Apex World or World of Apex? World of the Apex? I, I have not looked at it in so long. What is it? Apex of the World, yeah. <laughs> my bad. But considering that my team, like, sort of got wrecked by Ragnarok there. But that was story. That was story. I'm not quite so sure about like actual just fighting through hopefully this doesn't have like story or anything i'm really hoping it does not go through story even i don't need that in my life but look on the bright side there probably won't be like any story or anything you have to go through over and over again just because i i just want to like skip it if i've already seen it and I don't want to see it again. <laughs> That's just been pretty much my mindset. Oh, hold up. Do we have enough for... Oh, no. We already made, like, one. I'm keeping these guys just to make a... It wasn't Pluto I needed. It was um Ragnarok I needed for her. What am I saying? But yeah, I'm saving these warriors just to make a Ragnarok. I mean, the only useful thing Gregrock is for is making the trans that come with him. I mean, his pass is pretty nice. Not enough DPS, though. That I can say. But, eh, his pass is pretty nice. Just to weight down, like, cooldowns and all that. Pretty much weight down cooldowns for your, um... Revive scrolls. Or for other, like, characters that can revive. Like, um... Like Black. You know, waiting for her to like come back to life and bring back the whole team. That's good for PP until Hal comes by and kills all death passives. Then you have yourself a problem. <laughs> but let's see, what else do I have? I can do. Well, I can do uh, raids. But I don't think, like, new gears are going to be coming, just because I think the next batch is supposed to be, like, um, ultimate. If anything, it'll probably be, like, the next level cap when we, like, get new gears. That's what I'm guessing, at least. 
because I don't think it's going to come with Trigger and um, Hillhawk. I doubt it is. Oh, uh, Warrior died already? Oh, I did. I did. Alright. Finished them off. I still gotta say, Pluto still looks pretty awesome to me. If I was to say, he, him next to uh, the Archer, the Archer Buster, well, Dragon Buster is probably the best looking one. I just like the way the, um, the Dragon Buster actually like shoots. Cause I like Gunslingers. Probably like Dante from Devil May Cry is probably why I like him so much. Gunslinging has always been like really cool to me. I like the no more like revolver guy who's pretty much uh, flipping his gun and like that. I think the dual wielding gunslingers are probably like way be better personally. That's just my personal opinion. Ah, Man, the rookies need buffs man. They need help. Like they are... <laughs> They're supposed to be helping us man. What if one night that nobody's like actually doing this anymore and you just get a whole team of rookies? How are you gonna beat this? It's gonna be like early impossible. Especially if you don't have an ultimate key. Jesus is gonna be hell. Good thing this thing didn't get buffed yet. Even though that would be a terrible idea to buff this thing. It already kills everybody so fast. Just putting it out there. We don't need anything else buff right now. But yeah, I was hoping until they waited to ultimate to start buffing Nogla. Oh god, we got the same people. So it's only these two doing this right now? How many is that? That's two? This is our third one. And we don't kill like extremely quick. See, that's like a really cool gunslinger to me. The only sad part is that this one is uh, less viable than that toast. Just because he can easily die like way faster than Thanatos. Thanatos is, actually has some really good sustain with his shields. And the chance of him getting like shields each time he like uh, fires. So I put a tech speed and a uh, cooldown on him. It's actually been working out pretty fine. If anything, the, um, the Archer Dragon Buster is probably useful for like crowds. I mean, so is Thanatos too when he's ultimate because he also gets that um, every like five seconds he gets an arrow that hits all enemies. So he's still pretty good for crowds. So, yeah, hmm. Am I thinking about it now? Yeah, I think the I think the Dragon Buster is a lot weaker than Thanatos. Considering he is like second, probably second gen is what I want to call it. Second gen of keys and Titans being third gen. But after we're done with this, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Just because our next one will be five. Uh, you didn't even have to use that revive scroll, man. They had that. Uh. So... Need to stretch more. <laughs> but it's so terrible when you stretch when you start pulling something. Oh. It's like I can say when you want to stretch, you you like stretch as much as you can until you actually start hurting. Then that's when you stop stretching because it's it's not worth the pain. Let's, let's just say that. But it feels great to stretch. That's the thing. There's, it's almost like a risk reward. 
if you stretch as far as you can, then stop. There's a chance of you getting like pain, or just a chance of you feeling like, ah, sweet relief. Most of the time it's pain. All right, I think this last one. I like how nobody ever picks these anymore. They're just, they just leave it all into RNG. I mean, which is what I've done since the start of the game. Just because you know, I want to, I want to like roll my chances to see what everybody gets. All right, so. Now I am t three off. So guys, we're gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and do think about if you guys want me to actually make a little bit of star guides just for like new players coming into the game and everything. You know, I'm willing to do it. It's just like I said, it's going to take some time to like get out there, or take some time to get like materials to like actually showcase like the different things you can do, like. I'm gonna need five triple S's to like show off like limit break and everything. So yeah. That one's gonna probably be a while considering that I'm still like working on Omega. But I'll make some bigger guys now and then if you guys want me to. But until then guys, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.